Hey, Mark Nelson from MarkNelsonOnline.com. Today, what I want to do is give you five, five mind hacks to take you to $10,000 days. But first, did you really hear that? $10,000 days. Do you believe or do you think that can happen to you? Well, let me give you the first mind hack is, and what I had to do to begin my journey, and what that is, is I had to rewire my brain. Rewire my brain. See, there are a lot of things sitting in there that I just didn't believe that I could do. And I never knew that I could. things were holding me back. Never thought things were holding me back. But yet, for some reason, I never had this belief I was good enough to get my business to $10,000 days. So I had to start doing a mindset or a rewire my brain to get myself to believe in myself. And then also so I could believe in myself so I could lead people to bring them to the same thing that I'm looking for them. So here's what I want to talk about again. How do you rewire your brain? I read a lot of books. I listen to a lot of audio programs. I do a lot of different things. You know, I had to run to an appointment, so I'm doing my Facebook Live in my car, but I had to run an appointment, and I'm sitting here, if you notice outside in the back, it's I'm in the middle of a rainstorm, so I'm not moving yet. So I thought, this is a great time for a Facebook Live. So the first mind hack is to rewire your brain. I had to do it. Is that one is to start believing in myself to start thinking that I can actually take a business to ten thousand dollars a day because at first when you, most people start on part-time right my goal was to make a hundred bucks two hundred bucks to help pay a car payment to help pay a mortgage how the heck could I think that I was worthy enough to ten thousand dollars a day so again I had to rewire my brain and I do it constantly I do meditation I have my vision. Probably the biggest thing you need is to have your vision of where you're going to be in five years. Where are you going to be in one year? When are you going to pull the plug on working that job? That's what you got to do. The second tip is start saying yes. Right? Is to start saying yes to opportunities. I, you know, I saw opportunities all around, all over and I was kind of afraid for them because I, I jumped a little bit. And then I never did what I needed to do to work those opportunities. But start saying yes to different things to help build your business up. Start saying yes to things that make you uncomfortable. Right? Start saying yes that you can do different things. Start saying yes to maybe doing a Facebook Live. Start saying yes to do Zoom calls to working with people. Start saying yes to building your own product. If that's what you want to do. But start saying yes to opportunities. Start saying yes to what makes things uncomfortable for you. And the next one is, you know, start thinking outside the box, right? learn how to become creative and this was really challenging for me you know how do you think outside the box how do you become creative see my mind works my mind's a math mind I'm a math teacher and to be a math teacher my I, I do numbers and numbers become easily but I'm not a creative person at the same time here's this thing about rewiring my brain was that I am a creative person, but I kept telling myself I was not very creative because my brain thinks a certain way. That's what makes it easy for me. So I had to learn how I could become creative. I really had to learn how to believe that I could become creative. See, we're all given this thing. God really makes us to be special people or whoever your God is. But I really believe that. He created us to be the top person we could be in our lives. So start thinking outside the box and become creative. Do something you've never done before and start 
and become creative. The fourth mindset hack is start spending money. And that sounds really weird. But you know, I, I firmly believe that I, I've owned businesses before I came online. I've done things, in, and when my businesses became successful, I was spending money. A lot of it on myself to learn. But then I was spending money to learn how to market. And I had to learn how to track that marketing and make sure that what I was doing was being doing well. So don't be afraid to spend money. And when you're marketing, the key to marketing is you got to lead with your heart. You got to lead with passion. You know, people got to believe in you. So lead with your heart and don't be afraid to spend money. And the fifth mind hack is become the person you want to attract. And that's kind of rewiring your brain too, but become the person you want to attract. If you're a network marketer, you're building a team, become the person that you want on your team. And that's really easy to do. You just have to start believing in yourself, read positive affirmations, and get yourself moving in the right direction. So there you have it, my five mindset hacks to get yourself to a $10,000 day. First one is rewire your brain. Second one, start saying yes to opportunities. Start saying yes to doing things that are uncomfortable. The third one was think outside the box and become creative. The fourth is you gotta start spending money. And when you're doing your marketing, lead with your heart, lead with your passion. And the fifth one is become the person you want to attract. So hey, before you head out, if you got any value from this, please share it. Give me some comments and some love below. I have a great free PDF for you. See, I struggled when I first got started. What do I do every day? So I put together a free PDF that's called the Six Daily Activities. And you can get it at marknelsononline.com forward slash six daily steps. I'll put the link below in here also. But if you go, guess what? You're going to get on my newsletter and I provide tips every day. And we talk and we try to interact together. And I think you're going to love it. So head over to marknelsonline.com forward slash six daily steps. Grab your PDF. I will talk to you all again tomorrow. You all take care. Bye.